Rainbow stripes, Belgian monuments, grand tour victory. Specialized has reigned supreme at the very pinnacle of road racing for almost two decades. Through epic days and with heart-stopping speed, the Tarmac and Venge have written legendary scripts in the high mountains and finish lines across the globe. It all started with a mission to create the fastest bikes in the world, the continued obsession of a simple philosophy, innovate or die. But racing has become a trade-off, forcing riders to choose between weight and aerodynamics. And our riders asked us a simple question. Why do we need to compromise? I think everybody looks forward to something new, like that's what we need to improve, to get better. And you know for sure when you come with something new, it has to be better. And I believe it is. The idea was simple. A race bike with no compromises for weight, aerodynamics or ride quality. The fastest race bike for any course. That idea became the goal and the start of a completely new challenge. What Specialized uh, provides, what the professionals of Specialized are able to do, it's, it's quality uh, more than, than quantity. A bike that can uh, combine the best of the Venge and the best of the Tarmac is, uh, is a dream for everybody. The least you have to change on your setup, um, knowing that the performance is not compromised, is, is just a perfect scenario. We once again collaborated with the best athletes in the world. This established trust, built over more than a decade, is what helped us in developing the Tarmac and Venge to be the winningest bikes in the world. Because in order for a bike to be the fastest on the road, every rider must have complete faith in it. These relationships have defined the targets for ride quality, aerodynamics and stiffness that each bike needs to win. Through aerodynamic experience, earned during years of Venge development, and the knowledge gained of composites and manufacturing in the time of Tarmac development, the previously imposed boundaries on race bikes gave way. Bringing us to this, the lightweight, handling and ride quality of a tarmac with the aerodynamic performance of the Venge. So it's always this bike from now on? Yeah, yeah, one bike That's to perfect. choose from. And it's light and it looks cool, so I can't wait to ride it tomorrow. Alright. <clears throat> Definitely think it's 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 a very complete bike and it's a huge improvement to the to the tarmac. I I never really rode the tarmac much and I feel like with this bike I would I would ride that setup a lot more. To be successful in the crucible of European racing means to be successful on more than just mountain passes and smooth pavement. The Flemish cobblestones are a test every tarmac must pass. One that demands compliance to ride up and over, aerodynamics to keep the pace on and off the stones, and optimal weight, acceleration and handling to master the incredibly steep pitches. The best riders in the world have proven to be an integral part in the development of this new bike. Applying more than two years of riding and testing with our teams in Europe, and at our California Innovation Center. Sometimes a difficult choice, well, will I take the tarmac or the bench? But now we don't have to choose anymore and you can just go for, uh, for one bike. These incredible riders pushed us to make the cable routing simpler and lighter. They demanded integration with ease of adjustment and flexible fit options. They helped us to deliver a bike that's easy to live with, day after day, year after year. We knew we had achieved our goal when rider after rider asked us the same question. How soon can I race it? It was in December of 2019 that we were able to return to our team's winter training camps and show them the result of all of their input of our engineering team's tireless optimization and of our never-ending commitment to innovate or die. Some have called it the brass ring, others the holy grail of race bikes. We call it the all-new Tarmac SL7. The hardest part of this process was getting the bikes back after they were on them and telling the riders that they couldn't ride them again for another few months. 
I felt already in love. Yeah, it's really, really stiff and uh, still uh, really light. So I just want to try uh, during the race now. Whether you race at the highest level, on the biggest teams in the world, or simply for local glory, you'll never have to compromise between aerodynamics, weight, and ride quality again. The Tarmac SL7 is truly one bike to rule them all.